Hey, hey, what's going on? Uh, welcome to your 29th tutorial, guys. Again, it's me, Travis, with my Bring Back. Uh, what we're going to do is we're still going to work with this surface view, and we're going to kind of define it a little bit more uh, before we get into the drawing, because we want our thread to run, we want it to shut off, and all that good stuff. Kind of explain some of these methods, what they do, all of that. So, the first thing that we want our view to have, again, this is our surface view that we extended a subclass of our surface view example class up here. So that's basically what we're going to be working in um, on this tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a thread because again we need a thread um, once we create an object of this class. So we're just going to call this thread T um, or whatever you guys want to call it maybe our thread or something like that. We also want a surface holder. Now a surface holder allows us to change the dimensions of our view uh, kind of how many like pixels you want it to be a lot of different things that uh, basically um, again it just applies to our surface view um, and we'll just call this holder I know that's a terrible explanation but uh, you'll kind of see what this can do um, basically this is a way for us to manage uh, this class and what it, what it can do and then the last thing we want to do is we want to set up a boolean value and we're going to call this is uh, it okay something like that no not question mark it's getting too late but we're just gonna call this is it okay and we're actually gonna set this initially to be false we're also gonna set our thread to be null to start out with so there we go pretty much all these things are you know doing nothing at the moment again we just kinda set up everything and now let me kinda explain what's gonna go on um, and now we're just going to use some of these and you'll kind of see why we set these up. So first let's go into our onPause method right here. What our onPause method is going to do is it's going to say is um, our boolean value, is it okay, or whatever you guys label that as, we're just going to set that equal to false. And uh, got to get my spelling right. So that's just going to trigger it to false, but if we hit the on resume, we're just going to say is it okay is equal to true. And the reason we're going to do this is within our on within our run method, we're going to check is it okay is that is that set to true or is that set to false? And if it's set to true, we're going to be able to draw onto our canvas and all that stuff. So I know it's kind of confusing uh, the layout that we're doing right now, but um, hopefully you guys will understand what what we're setting up here. So we're going to say if is it okay um, is equal to be true uh, again then we're going to perform some actions in here. But again let's just finish up our on pause or I'm sorry let's finish up our pause method and our resume method of our thread uh, class called our view. So just within the on resume method we're just going to set our is it okay to be true um, so then it's going to call, you know, this resume method before run method. Uh, so that way, you know, everything's set up properly and doesn't try to run uh, before it's ready to. And then after we do that, we're going to create a thread. So we're going to say our thread that we set up here to be null, we're going to set this equal to be a new thread. And we're going to pass in the, this. And then we're just going to start that thread. So we're just going to say t.start. Because again, it's a thread object, we can use this method called start or that method that we can uh, use called run. Um, even I, actually, I think we use start on the on the splash screen as well. So that's kind of a old old method that we've used, but that's just going to start a thread after we set up what this new thread is. Um, and again, this why we say this here is because we have this run method. Um, because again, we implemented the runnable, so it's going to use the run method of this. Um, so the last time I think we did like new runnable or new something um, within our you know our thread class here, but this time we're just going to say, hey, we already have a run method, so use that, and it's going to be like, okay, okay, um, looking through this class, where's the run method? And it's like, oh, it's right here. Okay, we're cool, and uh, that's that's what that's what's going on. Uh, that's why we say this. It's not really the context. It's just saying. Hey, I'm looking for a run method. Where is it located? And we're like, it's located right here. It's you know, it's right there. So basically, that's what's happening. And uh, we have a resume method set up. Now, what we want our pause method to do is 
if we have a thread running or it's started already, but we want to end that thread or we want to have it, uh, you know, finish. So what we're going to do is we're going to say while true. So this is going to be an infinite loop until we break out of this loop. So we're going to say while this is true, um, while true is true, basically, we're going to do whatever is in here. So what we're going to try and set up is we're going to end our thread and once it's ended, uh, then we break out of this infinite loop while true. So make sure you guys don't run it when it's you know in this loop here. But we're just going to say try because uh, again it's kind of sketchy trying to close out a thread. It doesn't always work. So we're just going to say our thread and we're just going to say dot join. As you can see over here, the, the join, what that does is it blocks the current thread until the receiver finishes its execution and dies. So just think of it, it you know, we're just cleaning up or finishing things stuff like that so uh, we're just gonna you know call this join onto our thread that has been running uh, once we hit the pause again this pause method gets called when our activity hits the on pause method um, that we set up above but th that's basically all we need to do and then we're just gonna say uh, we're gonna catch some exceptions because there could possibly be an interrupted exception of some sort so we're just gonna say interrupted exception I'm going to call this E, kind of standard there, and then we're just going to print that to the stack trace. Um, and again, we haven't got into the debugging and what, what this print to stack trace is yet. We'll probably get down uh, get to that down the road here. And then um, then all we're going to do is, you know, hit break. And we're just going to hit break, and we're going to set T equal to be null again. So again, all we're doing here is we have a it's okay is it okay variable and that's gonna be set to true or false initially it's set to false until it hits the resume method then we can call this run method which we do uh, right here again within our uh, our resume method we call this start here then it's gonna go up to this run method and it's gonna be like hey just double check in is everything okay is it true um, like it's supposed to be since we went through the resume method and we're like yeah it's cool so this is where we're gonna do our drawing and all that stuff um, and then when we pause all we're gonna do is we're gonna finish off our thread and then we're just gonna set it equal to, ne uh, to null and the last thing we want to do is we want to set up this surface holder uh, to basically get uh, the appropriate holder um, again I haven't really explained the surface holder we haven't really used it all we're gonna do is we're gonna say holder is equal to um, a method called get holder within our constructor. Again, our constructor is going to be called when we uh, set up a new, you know, up here we say new our view. This passes in the context. Then that's going to call this our view constructor where we set up our holder and it's just going to get the appropriate holder we need to deal with. And we use it, uh, use this method get holder to do that. Um, so that's basically again uh, just setting up this uh, setting up this surface view type um, type activity I know it's kind of lengthy and uh, it still hasn't it's still not working we still aren't drawing doing anything fun it's not as easy as the view but this is the proper way that you want to do it because uh, you're working with a better thread you can control that thread um, so this is just basically the layout of setting up a, a good thread and then we're going to get into the drawing on the canvas and that stuff probably in the next tutorial um, but hopefully you know this wasn't too confusing guys but again I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial and have a good one